Intel Hyperdeck has been announced and will be 12th generation of Intel Core processors succeeding the Rocket League generation of Intel chips. Hyperdeck is uh, Intel's latest processor and uses a hybrid architecture and uh, thread reactor to provide better performance than the company's previous processors. It actually utilizes a combination of Golden Cove and uh, Golden Cove high performance cores uh, and Resmon power saving cores in a similar approach to Apple's M1 processor. Intel has claimed Adder Lake will have the best performance per watt uh, yet with uh, three different DDP configurations at uh, 125, 65 and 35 watts. And it released, uh, Adder Lake should be released at the end of October uh, through no specific dates have been released yet. Uh, uh, the company has confirmed it will initially launch desktop chips uh, with uh, mobile Elder Lake parts following at an uh, unspecified point afterwards. And it will be available both as desktop processor uh, and as a mobile uh, CPU for laptops. There has been no word on pricing right now but we expect them to cost uh, the same amount as uh, past generations uh, until declined uh, trusters uh, a request for comment on further details saying they they will follow in the near future and the laptop chips will depend on the manufacturers that will be housing the new intel chips uh, uh, which looks to be microsoft as uh, you want to able to buy the uh, mobile processors separately uh, and it will be using a hybrid architecture with a mix of uh, both high performance and high efficiency cores within the chips uh, thread uh, thread reactor uh, and uh, it's, uh, this should allow Intel to prioritize uh, certain applications to ensure the desktop uh, is running at top performance and uh, it will be using an Intel 7 process uh, which is known as 10 nanometer enhanced super fin which the company uh, revealed should uh, give a 19% improvement per performance but, uh, compared to the previous generation Intel 11, uh, according to the firm, uh, Intel spokesman declined uh, trusted uh, uh, request for further details about what a specific process the 90% referred to calling it a uh, generalist figure. And it also supports DDR5 memory for desktop PCs and uh, LDDR5 for laptops. The uh, new, chip, new chips actually will be uh, using an LGA. 1700 socket and uh, Intel XE will be used again as GPU architecture. Uh, Android Lake was uh, scaled from uh, desktop to mobile to ensure that it supports all client segments. Uh, it is a, a harder solution and uh, should allow uh, for optimal task scheduling across all control types. And the company claimed that the chip will be able to uh, handle common consumer activities such as browsing, uh, web and gaming uh, while tempering to lower power budget uh, though again estimates uh, for TDP and uh, thermal have not been disclosed but sadly we don't uh, know much about how it will run other operating systems such as Linux um, or something else the thread reactor means that uh, the desktop should be able to work smarter and not harder using less power to get better performance. Intel Elder Lake uh, will be able to heat 24 threads uh, and should be able to give hints to ensure that the power cores and high efficiency uh, cores are uh, off, uh, offloading the background, uh, background tasks and prioritize the tasks in the foreground. And these hints will say when to power save on an application or when to give it a boost. Intel has said that priority task will occur in P core and uh, the background task in the E core. But uh, since everything is uh, dynamic, it will always make sure the highest priority is focused on uh, onto uh, avoid uh, stuttering of foreground applications. If I talk about uh, benchmarks, Intel Adder Lake is not officially available yet, so there are no review samples currently available. So we don't have any benchmarks to share as of right now. Uh, however, uh, Hot Adder uh, has spotted that Twitter user uh, one uh, someone claimed to be in uh, possession of Intel Core i9-12900K QS 
uh, processor and has put it through numerous benchmark tests. When putting the processor through, the Cine Bench R20 benchmark, Twitter users uh, claims that uh, this processor hit uh, eight, 810 in the single thread test and 1160. 11,060 in March. So, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and press the bell icon for future updates.